Hi everybody. This session we are going to implement Q in Python. Recollect what do you mean by Q? Q is a, least, a linear structure where insertion and deletion taking place through two different end. Or you can say Q is a FIFO data structure. First in, first out data structure. Element which are inserted first will be removed first. Now see this one. I am going to implement Q. It is a menu driven program. Insert first choice, delete second choice, third one display. Which choice you want? Choice 1, choice 2, else the third choice 3. Choice 1, if choice is 1, I am going to call the function. My function name is insert. Insert is the function name. Insert. I am going to define the function insert def insert the main thing we didn't run it over here first step we have to define the queue that is a normal step we are following first step in stack also first we define the stack same way here also we have to define the queue similar to stack in queue we have to define the queue next step you have to insert element into the queue next step you have to check whether the queue is empty if queue is empty you can remove the element from the queue and display the content of the queue these are the basic operation that can be done on a queue see then now i am going to define the function insert before that i have to define queue so my queue is empty queue that means it's a list queue is a list now i am going to insert element first step i have to input the in element input enter element enter element now element is there in the variable a q q is a list or we will say in this case we will say q is a q itself and q dot we can add element into the queue by using append method q dot append of a so that means element a is appended or inserted into the queue next step that function is over and second thing second menu choice is delete delete means we have to delete an element from the queue so choice is 2 means I just want to call the del function. I am going to call delete function. Delete. My function name is, it's a user defined function, delete. I am going to define the function delete. Def of delete. See that it is a queue. So element which is inserted first will be removed first first element is always there in the zeroth location in your queue the zeroth location will contain the first element of the queue so we are going to delete that element so i am going to delete an element so d equal to q name q dot pop of zero pop of zero means it will remove the zeroth element from the queue so pop of q zero then print remove element element is remove element is d this is all about your delete and insert function insert using the append method you are adding element into the queue for delete using the pop method you are removing the element from the queue the difference between a stack and queue is this one. In stack, we are not using the argument. When you say just pop, that will remove the last element from the stack. But when you say pop of zero means that will remove the zeroth element from the queue. That means that that will be the first element in the queue. Now the next function, this is your delete function. 
second choice and third choice is display display choice we want to display the content of the queue so for then i am going to call the function disp disp function now i want to define the function disp it is disp def of def of disp yes the first step you have to check whether the queue is empty or not the same step we did in use uh, you use it over this in the delete function that also we have to mention there you have to check whether the queue is empty here in the delete function also that will add now so before that first finish it of this disp function so inside the disp function first we have to check whether the queue is empty or not so that means i am going to check whether the queue is empty if Length of queue. That means length of the queue. Number of elements in the queue. If length of queue equal to zero, then you can say print queue is empty. Queue is empty. So that means there is no element in the queue. Else, else means there will be the content will be there. So in the case of queue, when you display the content of the queue, it must be from first to last. But in the case of stack, when you display the content of the stack, you are displaying from last to first. But in the case of queue, when you display the queue content, you are to display it from first to last. So else means the queue is not empty. The first step you have to find out the length of the queue. I am going to find out the length ln of queue. That will give you the total number of elements in the queue. I am setting my for loop for i in range 0 to l. We want to display the entire content of the loop. No, sorry, entire content of the queue. So I am using the for loop over there and print. Q of i. That means it's displaying the content of the queue from first to last. Now the same thing we have to apply here in the delete function also. First step you have to check whether the queue is empty or not. You can check the queue as empty by using this, this method by using len method itself you can check it or you can check whether the queue is empty by using this method q empty. If it is empty, I am saying print empty queue, empty queue. Yes. Now, otherwise, else, you are removing the element by using the pop method. And the pop element you are displaying over here. Now I am going to run this program. This is the main menu, main menu part. Depends on the choice you are calling the function. Check the insert function one more time. Insert. The element to be inserted you accepted from the user. Using the append method you are in adding into the queue. And the second choice is delete. So definition of the delete is this one. First, you are checking whether the queue is empty. If it is empty, then you are giving the message. Otherwise, using the pop method, pop of zero. That means zeroth element will be popped out. And which will be stored in the variable D. And you are displaying that element. Remote element is D. And the next function is disp function. Disp function will display the entire content of the queue from first location first position to the last position before displaying you are checking whether the queue is empty or not len of queue is equal to zero means the length of the queue that means the number of elements in the queue is zero then the queue is empty otherwise you are finding out the length of the queue by using len function and starting the for loop over here from zero to l displaying the content now we can run this program and see wherever you want to make changes. Choice is displaying over here. 
the which choice you want choice one element element is 10 now do you want to continue yes see that element is 10 it is accepting the element at the same time you have to display the present content of the stack or queue also the same way we done in the stack the same method we have to use it here also i didn't call that display function over there that is why it is not displaying the present content of the queue do you want to continue yes choice again one element 20 see then do you want to continue yes now again choice one element 30 do you want to continue yes and before then just first element 10 next to 20 and next to 30 that is the order it is arranged in queue do you want to continue yes choice 2 element that is the first element inserted is 10 10 is removed from the queue again here also you have to you have to display the present content of the queue after the removing 10 from the queue the present content you have to display it over there now yes again choice 2 remote element is 20 now only 30 is there in the queue again i am going to run the same program with choice 2 remote element is 30 one more time when you run this program with choice 2 see that empty queue that means there is no element over there so that is why empty queue message over coming over there do you want to continue no this is the way you can stop the program see then i told you after inserting and after removing after insertion and after removal or after insertion and after deletion you have to display the present content of the queue so present content of the queue can be displayed by using the disp method so after the choice one here after insert function just call the function disp same way here also call the function disp now run the same program now you can see the difference choice one element 10 yes element 10 is there i didn't give any message over there that is the, the 10 alone displaying over there do you want to continue yes choice 1 element 20 now you can see 10 20 that means the first element 10 then second element is 20 do you want to continue yes i want to display the present content so see that choice 3 it is 10 20 is displaying over there this procedure you can continue there one more time just go through the program just the only difference between queue and stack is then in queue we are using pop of zero that means always you are removing the zeroth element from the queue but in stack we are not mentioning any argument for the pop there is no argument for the pop in the queue stack that means always you are removing the last element there is the only difference between uh, implementation of stack and queue the actual difference is stack is a lifo structure and queue is a fifo structure this is the implementation of your queue now i am going to wind up the session next class we can study the next topic thank you children